Hello and welcome to a Nation of Expert Gaming videos. Today we are going to be doing the Nastich Team of the Season review, uh, the community team that is from the gold. Uh, as you can see, we are doing the same team. We are coming to a close on our Team of the Seasons for this. And don't you worry your pretty little eyes. We are going to be doing more Team of the Seasons every single day now for a while. Um, as long as I can pick up the people for whatever coins they are. I will be buying them so already I can tell you that there is going to be a few more team of the seasons coming out from the one uh, the ones this week um, as well I'll try and kind of keep them going on like on tasks so these are quite easy to do to be honest they're they're really simple to do and it doesn't take me much time to be honest it, it'll take me a little bit to get them and then get the matches because I don't want to make sure I don't want to rush in with the coins and everything and uh, then lose a lot of money because then that would kind of limit who I can buy as well so as you can see in the bottom left hand corner i've given nastich uh, a 7.2 rating so why is this he is meant to be a kind of upcoming star yes maybe that is true but in this he isn't the upcoming star at the moment um i believe in fifa 14 he may be a little bit better but maybe kind of like the david luis uh, a bit more op than what um what he is like for the age that he is and uh, kind of like the the rating that he is in in a club. You've got company to uh, live up to in Man City. Obviously, it's got to be something good if he's being paired with company. Um, so yeah, it's got to be something good. So why didn't I like him? To be honest, it's not that I didn't like him. It's just that he kind of never fit in with his players. I think it would have been a little bit better if I did fit him in with uh, in, uh, Team of the Season Jagielka, um, but I couldn't afford him. Unfortunately, I thought Jagielka would be about 70k when I when I got him, but uh, unfortunately he was still about 110k, and I only had about 60k left. So the the chances of me getting him was very slim, but I would try and get him. But yeah, so let's move on to the positives about about Nastic. He is a great interception and lasted challenger. Um, I enjoyed him kind of heading the ball away and intercepting, doing a defender's job to be honest. But his pace lacked him a bit, and his kind of his kind of passing just made it a bit a bit too hard to get it out of defence. And I noticed that sometimes I'd uh, I'd I'd do a bit of a bad pass and it would concede a goal, and it just really wasn't what I was looking for. It, overall, his play is really good if you can play the kind of defensive game. If you've got to maybe maybe it's good if you have like a, a really pacey centre back. Um, paired with him, so say if you picked up David Luiz, in fact, yeah, if you picked up David Luiz, as he is quite fast on this game, and put him there, he'd probably make a really good defender because it would have that kind of combination of the block, uh, the sh uh, shot blocker, and then the kind of defender that runs in and tackles players uh, from kind of like their runs on the wing. Like you see here, he Nastic is chasing him, but he just kind of lowers his pace a little bit and it just never really caught up he did make the challenge in the end from a mistake from that player but overall sometimes if the player doesn't make that mistake he's going to punish you and probably score so really that is all that i really didn't like about him to be honest i, I got him at 7.2 is quite a harsh rating but it, i'm just trying not to brag him up a bit for people to go get him and then find that he's shit and then they complain that um, I've given him a good rating and then they found out that he's not as great as what I've said So I really just wanted to be brutally honest with kind of like the the points that I make And to be honest, he wasn't the worst player that I played with. I must say Rifa was worse than him um, I, I really didn't fancy Rifa at all Jakob and uh, Mignolet and That's it, I've called him Migalot. Mignolet is uh, were an absolute tank of the two um, they were definitely my favorite but there you go there is the four bpl players that i've got in this team and hopefully you'll enjoy the video come back for more and i'll see you in the next review bye bye